if you are trying to lose belly fat in particular, one of the smart things that you can do is what's called protein pacing, where you take the protein that you're gonna eat, let's say it's 90 grams of protein, and space it out throughout the day. There's been research to support that protein spacing, where you eat it throughout the day, actually results in more visceral fat around the belly being reduced compared to if you were to eat all your protein in one meal. This is of course bad news for people that do OMAD. Very often though, people that are doing OMAD are trying to lose a tremendous amount of body weight and thus it works for some people. However, when research comes out, we need to change our minds a little bit and start to worry about, are we doing the right thing? One of the problems is number one, that we cannot digest 90 grams of protein all at once. We don't absorb it all. So it would be more beneficial if we spaced out that protein for that reason. Second thing is you do get an insulin spike even though you are just eating, let's say a ribeye steak, which is just full of fat and protein. You, when you eat a lot of calories all at once, regardless of whether it's protein, carbohydrates, or just fat, if you just drank a bunch of olive oil, for example, with avocados, that's pure fat right there, you're still gonna get an insulin spike when you're eating a tremendous amount of food. So even though if you're doing OMAD, you will get an insulin spike at that time. I'll put a link to the research down below in the description if you do wanna read it. But if you are trying to lose body fat around the waistline, visceral fat that is, this would be the way to go. The last thought is when you look at weight loss, you just don't want the scale to have a lower number. Your goal is to lose body fat, not body fat and muscle mass. Unfortunately, when people go on diets, they tend to lose muscle mass, water, and fat at the same time because if you're reducing calories and you're also probably reducing the amount of protein that you eat or you're not eating an adequate amount of protein, when you do lose weight, you are going to be losing muscle mass. This of course lowers our metabolism and then lowers your requirement for calories per the day. So it would be better if you, even if you want to do intermittent fasting, to let's say start your meat, your breakfast a little bit later in the day and then take your dinner and shove it a little closer so that you have a shorter period of window where you're eating. So you're not eating from six o'clock in the morning until 10 o'clock at night all day long. It would be better to eat your breakfast a little later on in theory, let's say 10 o'clock, noon, that type of thing and then eat dinner instead of 10 o'clock at night, you're still snacking to push it to six o'clock or even four o'clock. Now, this is assuming that you're, you're not working and you don't have a job and you have nothing else to do except focus on your diet. But nonetheless, if you can shove breakfast this way and shove dinner this way, statistically, chances are you're gonna eat less calories but you don't want to lose muscle mass. And that's why protein spacing can be very useful. And that's what the research shows. Let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are.